Hi my friends, today we model this part. You can see what are the features and this is the drawing. We start with this 170 radius 30 and diameter 160. Everything is symmetric. This part is the part number 37 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts. New empty document. Take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD, not Bender, because we create uh, mechanical parts. New sketch in XY plane. And we draw a circle with a diameter of 160. 160. Then polyline from here up MMM three times and back to the circle. It is not on the circle, we apply coincident of this point with this line. Then we place on the same vertical this point with a center point equal to this two, radius of 30. Then, then tangent between these two entities and we select uh, these three entities to apply symmetry of that entities about this axis. Now we apply trim of this arc and this arc. The distance between these two points is 170. Here is not coincident and not tangent. Let's apply them. You expect to obtain something uh, robust when you apply a mirror in a sketch, but in uh, FreeCAD this is not by default. Now let's see what is not okay. This two points must be symmetric. One, two, about this axis. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. We add the two circles of 26. 26 and another one is here equal to the previous one. Close, extrude or pad on 25. Okay, we continue with these two features, diameter of 122 and 25. On the other side, diameter of 115 and the distance obtained by using an, an expression. Face, sketch, circle, 115, close, pad, and the expression is uh, 
58 minus 25 multiplied by 2. Okay, on the other face, sketch, circle, diameter of 122, close, pad, 25. This internal volume with uh, all these dimensions is the next. New sketch, YZ plane, C inside, and project these two end lines. Then polyline starting from here, going up, going to the right, down, left, down, right, and back to the start. Here is a special chamfer line between this point and this point. Trim this and this and apply dimensions. This is 1.5. And this diameter is uh, 90, and because we have a radius divided by 2, this is uh, 102 divided by 2. Uh, this is uh, 85 divided by 2. This is uh, 90 90 divided by 2, of course. Then uh, 20 is this line. And 33 is the opposite. 33. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. Close. Groove the axis is by default. Okay, now we create these two holes. One is diameter of six through till the midline, and uh, gas one quarter of an inch on 14 and 18. The distance from this face is 13. The axis of these uh, holes is placed at 30 degrees from this uh, other axis. Face, new sketch, line from the center to outside, tab minus 30 degrees and we project this arc we trim this 
extension and now we need a face and a point to create a datum plane here to do this we project this point you see because this is uh, accessible okay we select the cylindrical face we keep press the control key of the keyboard and we select the point now having these two existing we apply datum plane we have this datum plane now okay we use this plane for a new sketch and we hide the datum plane the datum point and the sketch we create a new sketch with a circle of six millimeters diameter close and pocket on 160 divided by 2 this means to the center of this hole okay now we have to consider what is this uh, gas one quarter of an inch this has a major diameter of 13 point something and a minor diameter of 11.44 we use this size to create the inner hole of the thread so you should study tutorial number 20 for its correct application now we reuse the datum plane for a new sketch and we hide the datum plane to get access inside now we don't project this uh, pseudo circle because you see what we obtain. Control Z. We project this generator to have a point here. Then we place a circle on this axis with a diameter of 11.45 this uh, circle must be placed on the same horizontal but we move this up and we apply horizontality for this to uh, entities close and the hole the hole selected from here with diameter of 11.445 and with a depth of 18 okay you see now how it looks inside when you apply uh, that uh, thread you have to stop it at 14 millimeters okay other holes are this four holes metric 10 equidistant dimensions 18 and 15 and the angle for the first one is 45 degrees face for a new sketch line from the center to somewhere here i forgot to mention the diameter of the circle for that holes 135 135 divided by 2 because it is a radius tab 45 and 
this line must be construction line we place a circle without a diameter close then we use the tool hole for a threaded hole metric regular profile of uh, metric 10 with a depth total depth of 18 threaded and the dimension for this thread is 15 okay if you want to have here a thread a real thread double click and select model thread okay it takes a time but you see that uh, nice profile now we select this hole and we apply polar pattern the axis is already selected you see here another hole because the number is two but we place here four and you see all the four threads okay this part has two fillets and one two three four chamfers of one at 45 we select this edge we turn the part then we keep press the control key on the keyboard and select the other edge then we apply fillet of two millimeters for both okay yes good it uh, is a delay here because of the model fillets you have to know this then we select one two three four edges by keeping press the control key then we apply chamfer and one at 45 is uh, by default okay we wait a while yes because of that uh, model threads good that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.